Should babies get an RSV vaccination? When it comes to the health of our little ones, many parents wonder about the best ways to protect them from illnesses. One question that often arises is whether babies should receive a vaccination for respiratory syncytial virus, commonly known as RSV. This virus can lead to serious respiratory infections, especially in infants. It is a leading cause of hospitalization for babies in the United States, with approximately 80,000 infants admitted each year due to ISV-related complications. So, what can be done to help prevent this? There are two main approaches to immunization that can protect infants from ISV. The first is maternal vaccination. This vaccine is given to pregnant individuals between 32 and 36 weeks of pregnancy. The antibodies created from this vaccine cross the placenta, giving newborns protection against RSV4 about the first six months of life. This is particularly important since infants are most vulnerable during this time. Studies have shown that this method significantly reduces the risk of severe RSV disease in infants during their first RSV season. The second approach is direct immunization for infants using monoclonal antibodies. One such product is called Nursevimab, which is administered as a single injection to infants under eight months old. This injection is given before or during their first RSV season and provides protection for around five months. This duration aligns with the typical RSV season, helping to lower the risk of infection and hospitalizations. For some high-risk infants aged 8 to 19 months, an additional dose may be recommended during their second RSV season. In certain cases, a preventive medication called palivizumab may be used, but it is reserved for infants with specific high-risk conditions. This medication requires monthly doses during the RSV season. When considering safety, both maternal vaccines and monoclonal antibody injections generally cause mild side effects, such as pain or redness at the injection site. Serious side effects are rare. There is a very small risk of Guillain-Barré syndrome associated with some RSV vaccines given to adults and pregnant individuals, but this has not been observed in infants receiving monoclonal antibodies. The benefits of vaccination in preventing severe RSV disease and hospitalizations are believed to outweigh these small risks. Health authorities recommend that all infants younger than eight months receive one dose of nirsevimab when entering their first RSV season. Pregnant individuals are advised to get the maternal RSV vaccine during the specified weeks of pregnancy to ensure early protection for their babies. These preventive measures are essential, as RSV can lead to severe respiratory illness and can worsen chronic conditions in infants. Given the high risk of severe RSV disease and hospitalization in infants, RSV vaccination through maternal immunization and direct infant monoclonal antibody administration is recommended to effectively protect babies during their most vulnerable early months. The vaccines and immunizations have a favorable safety profile, aligning with preventive medicine practices aimed at reducing RSV-related health issues in this age group.